Good evening, this is Awani Daily Dose at 5, bringing the latest headlines for Friday, 8 October 2021. Top stories for today. The Ministry of Health earlier today announced its conditional approval for the community vaccine to be used as a booster shot at least six months after the second dose for those age 18 and above. Health Director General Tansri Dr. Noor Hisham Abdullah said this is the first COVID-19 vaccine approved as a booster dose in the country. He said the decision was made during the 365th Drug Control Authority meeting today. Sarawak Disaster Management Committee advisor Dr. Sri Dr. Sim Kui Hian said that COVID-19 patients with mild symptoms and under home quarantine can die from lack of oxygen. He advised those under home quarantine with mild symptoms to be proactive in self-monitoring to save their life, especially with the spread of the Delta variant. Malaysia reports a total of 9,751 new COVID-19 infections in the last 24 hours. Daily cases have remained below 10,000 for the fifth consecutive day. According to the Ministry of Health, Selangor accumulated about 1,796 cases, followed by Sarawak, Kelantan, Johor and Sabah. Meanwhile, Pahang locked 551 cases, followed by Kuala Lumpur, Malacca, Negeri Sembilan, Perlis, Putrajaya and Labuan. On the international front, Pfizer announced that it has formally requested emergency use authorization for its COVID-19 vaccine in children aged 5 to 11, as children are essential to vaccinate to help achieve population immunity against the disease. The United States drug maker has been granted full FDA approval for those aged 16 and above. An FDA in May authorized its emergency use in children aged 12 to 15. The United Kingdom government has lifted bans on non-citizens travelling to England from 47 countries. The removal from the red list for those countries means passengers will no longer be required to enter hotel quarantine. However, under the new rules that come into effect on next Monday, seven countries including Colombia, the Dominican Republic, Ecuador, Haiti, Panama, Peru and Venezuela will remain under the restrictions. That's all on Awani Daily Dose for today. I'm Melissa Fernando. Visit astrawani.com for more on these stories.